The entire health and safety program is important because you want to make sure you're reducing any type of injury. Also, with OSHA requiring that the lab um, provide training to their employees, there are certain requirements uh, that are specific to an annual training, and of course, infection control is one of those. And when we look at the number of the citations and the deficiencies that show up with those, um, the bloodborne pathogen standard, which is about infection control, is certainly right at the top of that list. So making sure the workers are safe uh, for defining what are the risk areas. Most uh, laboratory owners believe that the receiving area is mainly the, the main risk area, and of course it is because you're handling items that are potentially infectious. Uh, but also you have to look at other areas of the laboratory. Uh, if you're receiving clinically poured models, uh, there's a risk there because of whether or not the dental staff disinfected that item before it was uh, the model was poured. Denture repairs, uh, dentures uh, being sent into the lab, you may be disinfecting when they come in, but it certainly presents another area of infection control risk. Uh, so making sure that uh, those areas are properly cleaned and whenever you can sanitize or disinfect that that is done. So, there's, there are more areas than just receiving, uh, more than just working with impressions. Uh, so making sure that you have a good program that is actually complementing also the, what the dental staff is doing to those impressions before they come in so that you don't have distortion. Because certainly the type of disinfectant that's being used is uh, important to consider. Uh, the practice that they're using in the dental office to disinfect does that material and that disinfectant uh, work together? So making sure your system is compatible with the dental office's system so you can produce the best uh, product from that impression or whatever you're receiving uh, from the dental practice. So not only critical for safety, but also critical for a good operation and good practices within the dental laboratory.